Okay. Live. Um, if I'm not live, I apologize, <laughs> but I should be live. And what I'm going to do is this is probably the cheapest Geiger counter available today. Uh, you can pick these up on eBay at the moment for about nine pounds. And uh, it's it's one of those ones. Hello, Arnold Rimmer. How are you? Um, what I'm going to do tonight is I'm just going to show off what I believe to be the cheapest way of getting a Geiger counter in the UK at the moment. Um, there are, I think, about 30 of these for sale on eBay at the moment. And it's the RM5 rate meter by Nuclear Enterprises. And yeah, they're, I think they're about nine pounds, nine or 10 pounds you can pick one up for. So a friend of mine owns an army surplus shop and he sent me this over for nothing just to see if I could get it working. And I've been playing about with it today and watching a couple of videos online. And it is actually very, very straightforward. Now, it takes two D-cell batteries and at the top here, this is called a PET 100 cable or connector. And these are really expensive. These are about a hundred pounds if you wanted to buy one of these, uh, the actual cable for it. So my suggestion would be to swap this out for a BNC connector and then BNC cable, really, really cheap to get. Now, if you wanted to do it the really, really cheap way, my suggestion would be on the PET 100 cable, the center pin is positive and the outer screw thread is negative. So with a little piece of thin cable, you can put that in there. You can clip on to the external part, connect that bit up. So that's our connection made. And then with a cheap Geiger Miller tube, so here's an SBM 20 tube, which you can pick up for, well, probably about 12 pounds on eBay. Uh, we are going to connect the, let me see, where are we? The positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. So we have made an external probe. I'll give a bit, a bit more space on this. There we go. So we've made an external probe. So we do a battery check. Oh, popped off. Back on again. There we go. Okay, it passes the battery check fine. Go to EHT. So we want this is the power that is being sent from the meter to the tube. And we want that on about three, and that's where it is. Now, if we wanted to adjust it, we could adjust with the screwdriver here. And let me see what's the in the current background in the shed is 0.35 microsieverts. So there's two more modes in this. There's scintillator mode and there's GM mode, which is Geiger Muller Probe mode. So that's what we want. So we go to Geiger Muller Probe mode and that's now detecting in counts per second the background radiation. So if I take a piece of strontium 90. There we go. So we have a working Geiger counter, and this is a Geiger counter in every sense of the word, in counts per second. Uh, total value, let's say 10 pounds for this on eBay, and 12 pounds for this. That's 22 pounds for a working Geiger counter. And everybody should have had have a piece of wire lying about. Uh, so you can make yourself a Geiger counter for 22 pounds. Uh, if that's not the cheapest Geiger counter in the UK, I don't know what is. Uh, yeah, alas, the, the plastic, uh, it's very, very old. Um, 
it's very very similar to the old Nintendo uh, cases on the Nintendo games consoles. Uh, they, there's a fire retardant uh, chemical in the plastic and it makes the plastic go yellow and it also makes it go brittle. Uh, at some point I might retro bright this uh, by putting some peroxide on it and try to get it back to white and it also makes the plastic a little bit thicker. If you don't want the needle to jump about as much, try setting, just try the EHT setting just to bring it down ever so slightly, which I'll show you now. If I start to raise this up, that's the power off the scale. So if I bring that down again, if I go back to EHT, bring that back up to three, be very very careful when you're setting that you don't want it too high you don't want it too low uh for it to you know to work properly but i mean if i want to absolutely there's two bits of strontium 90 and there's three bits of strontium 90 so we'll go three bits of strontium 90 on the tube Yeah, so we can uh, we can do some good pivot. Oh yeah, yeah. You'll find, alas, with a lot of analog meters, when you shake them. I mean, there's, for instance, I will move this over. There is my thermo scientific meter, and if I shake that backwards and forwards, you'll see that bouncing as well. All analog meters will do that to some degree. Uh, a lot of the old Russian ones will actually go up a heck of a lot more when you shake them. It's just to do with how they're compensated inside. But yeah, I'm very surprised at how easy it is to get this working. Um, I'm probably going to swap out, as I said, the PET 100 port for a... Uh, well, actually, do I have one? Let me see. I might even have... A BNC connector here in my drawer of bits. Yeah, voltage is very good on these. It's it's a it's a nice meter. It's obviously it's made by the same people who did if you've seen weapons and stuff video recently. Um, it's made by the same people that made that uh, meter there, Nuclear Enterprises and uh, you know the MD3, exactly the same company, Nuclear Enterprises and uh, I think these date back from the late 70s, uh, early 80s you know and the fact being that they were making these and then also were making the MD3 as well so you no, know, Nuclear Enterprises made quite a few things Unfortunately, I don't have any. I have an N type and I have a couple of other, but I don't have a BNC, unfortunately. If I had, I would have actually have fitted the, uh, the socket now. Yeah, alas, BNC is the way to go. It's it's so much cheaper and easier to have. Um, as I said, the, uh, the PET 100 uh, cables and connectors are just are far too expensive. And if I wanted to make up a probe, and what I'm thinking of doing is BNC um, and then putting this inside uh, a, some, well, probably a tube of some description and a plastic tube and then hiding all the cables and, uh, you know, soldering it and wiring it properly so I have an external probe. Or what I was thinking of doing was mounting the tube in here, uh, maybe drilling a couple of holes. I don't know. It's, I mean, I didn't pay anything for it. As I said, a friend of mine gave it to me for free just to see if he could, if I could get it working. Uh, he bought quite, quite a few of them, uh, surplus. And uh, at the moment, I believe on eBay, there's, let me see, I think there's about 30 for sale on eBay at the moment. The cheapest is 10 pounds. And then you can buy four for 40 pounds. You can buy a set of five for 45 quid. You know, if anybody wants a Geiger counter and they don't want to pay too much money, you know, one of these is perfect. It really, really is perfect. 
especially if you can get a nice scintillator as well, or you if, you know if you can get a nice um, alpha, beta, and uh, gamma, X-ray, uh, pancake probe, a cheap one of those from Russia. You know you can wire that up to it as well, and you can make a really really nice meter. In fact, one sold, I think one of these with an extendable probe and a pancake uh, pancake probe or tube sold for I think 180 pounds a couple of weeks ago on eBay. So God, I mean the fact that you can pick one of these up for 20, you know, a tenner is ridiculous, and then you know get the other bits and pieces to do it. But uh, yeah, I think this is if anybody wants a cheap one, this is definitely the way to go. If you don't mind to do a bit, we would work. You know, it's. Uh, if this was my first meter, I'd be well happy with it. You know, I think, um, in fact, I'll show you the, um, I'll get out the Ram Genie here, which is the NHS uh, first responder meter that I showed quite recently. And I mean, it has this beautiful LND pancake probe at the bottom of it. Uh, it's lovely and sensitive. And uh, I've been having great fun with this. That's a really, really nice meter. Uh, hopefully the video quality and everything, the sound's good. Uh, this is actually the first live stream I've ever done. I did <laughs> try it first two, two attempts before and the uh, the camera wasn't orientated properly. So hopefully everything is working now and I'm getting a good internet connection out in the shed. But yeah, this is this meter is fantastic. I've had this now for about, I think two months now, month and a half, two months. And it's it started, but yeah, I'll turn that off. And what else am I doing? Um, I have a couple of videos coming up soon. Um, I have a, let me see, I have a review of this coming up soon, which is the Azimuth. Okay, I should be back. Hopefully I'm back. And after that, I will be doing a, a review 